How do I stream again? Oh, this icon at the bottom's new. Interesting. Okay. Hopefully these settings should be good. I should probably spam some socials since I haven't done this in like, I guess, a week or two. I don't know. I'm pretty bad at this. Uh, short, long story is kids got sick. Need to do a rebuild. So what ifs? Uh, I don't even know who I can spam anymore. Does Valor not have anything? I guess not. I don't even know who has places to spam. <laughs> I am so bad at this. Hold on. Social media promo. Sure. feel bad putting it in Perry's server. I've been holding off on this for a little bit too long, probably. I guess I can always do Keep Live. They always have promo stuff going on. Why not? Um, what else? Who else? Where else? These are the questions I often have. I guess I'll have to actually like stream and grind again since I spent some time off. Oh well, so is life. Um, who else had? Because I'm already forgetting personalize your invitations what get out of here do do the swag keys I guess they got rid of guess they got rid of their stream hmm Mr. Gion still a self promo that's like the same group of people I can spam that. Okay. Uh, I guess Parallel Limited. Although I, I do want to build my portal sometime soon with that. I'm thinking maybe next week I'll build the portal. I am looking forward to building it. I just have no clue when. Oh, that's right. Uh, Zeus's server. Because I always put my face in there, why not? Whatever, close enough. Alright, that's in sleep mode. I have soldering stuff in front of me. Uh, I have this H87NU PCB. Uh, when I was desoldering it, I was sick. That'll be my excuse at least. I got impatient and accidentally ripped out this uh, contact patch here. So if you look, I have a little wire wrap patch going on that's going from this diode to where it needs to connect. Uh, and electrically it works. So I'll have to solder it in and see if it still works. <laughs> and the rest is gonna be good. Um, rebuilding with a, an aluminum plate regular thickness of like 1.5, 1.6 millimeters. Uh, this is 50-52 aluminum. No flex cuts in this. Uh, Perry had given me the option of flex cuts. I said no. I just want a solid, good sounding board, so. And with Cherry Switches, I'm hoping that does it. Although after listening to Teja's stream, I might have to go back to PP anyways, but I think if I chase after what Teja's board sound like, I'll always just be disappointed with myself, so... There's that. Alright. Enough stalling. 
Let me not throw my key down. Place it on that mat. Get the soldering goodies ready. And I guess I should be throwing on the noise suppression stuff on this side. Um, update available. Update now. Wait, is it automatically updating? Uh oh. Obviously, I didn't do what I was supposed to do beforehand and update all my stuff. But I'll update Crisp. Maybe it'll be better. I'm not really sure. Ugh. Anyways, have a backlog of boards to do. I have my KFECE sitting right there. I have a Block 67 down there. And uh, under the Block 67, I have my portal. I want to build those. Uh, I caved in and decided to get a Songle 65 because I really like the Songle 60. Hopefully that didn't do anything weird to my sound. Um, what else do I have going on? I think about buying a PLX because uh, I could, I sort of want another 60 and that, that just sounded good. All right. This noise suppression is going on. I'm gonna sound like I'm underwater. Is it not working? You definitely hear that. Chris, are you not working today? Crisp, this is a fan. That's a fan off. What happened with this? Preferences, voice, voice setup, best voice quality. Um, disable volume lock. Don't mess with my shit, come on. Do I have to do the voice cancellation setup? I knew I shouldn't have updated anything. Well, that's definitely going on. Uh, so unfortunately, you might just hear a lot of fan tonight. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe I would need to restart. Also says microphone not used. Test. All right, testing for 15 seconds. Uh, putting 15 seconds up. Testing for 15 seconds. I stop. Whatever. Right, testing for 15 seconds. Uh, putting 15 seconds up. Testing for 15. All right, testing for 15 seconds. I'm turning on the fan, and let's see if you can cancel anything out, Chris. Testing for 15 seconds. I'm turning on the fan, and let's see if you can cancel anything out, Chris. So it does it in there. So if I select remove noise and then turn the fan on. Ideally you shouldn't hear any noise, but it's showing in the meter here. So I'm gonna assume that you're hearing a crap ton of noise. So apologies, I guess I'll have to restart my computer later. I just wanna get done with this build and enjoy my IU again because I disassembled this last week when I was feeling a little bit sick just haven't got around to building it because my daughter was sick and then my other daughter is sick and why are you showing me that go away okay anyways same stabs shouldn't need anything done to them I have my same MX black switches that are already lubed I guess I could turn this off for now since I need to throw all the switches back in here anyways and this plate fits fine I was going to build with polycarbonate plate, but unfortunately that had some issues with, well, it wasn't actually cut out the way it was supposed to be cut, so I can't really use it. I might try to get another plate cut for that eventually, but uh, I think I'll probably settle on just going this way. All right, all these switches should just fall into place. Um, 
This should be a quick and uneventful build. If it's not, something probably terrible has happened to me while building or like my daughter has woken up or something and I gotta step away and put this off for yet another day. But I'm hoping we can just build this board tonight. All right. And if I do bend pins, I'll have uh, extra switches on standby. Hopefully I don't need to do that though. And in the end, I'll probably want to switch back to polypropylene. I sort of want to do this because usually MX Blacks have that nice classic MX Black sound um, using these sort of plates. So. Okay, well this should be fairly simple, aluminum plate, pretty standard, these switches, uh, just your classic MX blacks, just push them in and they go. Soldering should be pretty easy too, and we'll go from there. Plate fits pretty easily, no real tolerance issues. Just your standard aluminum plate. Anyways, I did unbuild this off stream. Originally I thought I'd do it on stream, but I was still uh, ha getting over whatever random sickness my daughter had brought home. So I didn't really feel like coughing and streaming, so I just didn't stream. Uncharacteristic of me a little bit, but it'll be okay. Nothing was really missed. You just saw me uh, use the FR. Uh, 301, I've done it before. Pretty boring stuff. See the little leg in the back sticking out. Nope. Perhaps, perhaps not. I don't know. Or is it just the way it's filmed? Let's take a look and pry a little bit. So if I unstick it from there and stick it back in, does it look good? Sort of. I do see it sticking up the back. I do think it's in all the way. Should be okay. Moving on. Somebody's just not clipping. Hmm. Well, just to be careful, since I do have extra switches, I guess I'll uh, try other switches. Last thing I want to have to do is re re rebuild this. Although, again, yeah, PC or polypropylene plate, I'll eventually probably rebuild it with one of those. Again. 
crack legs not coming out of that one either. Not sure if it's just having issues clipping in or if some of these old switches are slightly burnt. This one too, eh? Wonder how many are like that. Most of it's probably because I put a little bit too much pressure when I was uh, taking them out of the plate. Because some of these sort of struggled. Um, surviving the desoldering process. <laughs> Just not closed? Why are you not going in? I don't know. It's definitely all the way in there now. I was contemplating doing too was switching out the spacebar switch. Think about just using a regular MX Black instead of using a Black Cherry Pie. I don't really know. I think it would be fine, but part of me still wants to just use a Black Cherry Pie for continuity's sake. Although I think one of the comments in, in the YouTube land was along the lines of very heavy sounding switch, <laughs> which is true. Um, I do use a very stiff spring for my spacebar usually. I think that's probably holding me back somewhere in typing, but it's, it's probably fine. I'm a slow typist anyways. All right, let's use both hands. So other keyboards, and part of the reason why I want to get this build out of the way, because um, I do have a Space 80 apparently coming at some point, uh, Songle 65, I broke down and bought that one, thinking about other boards too, I don't know. Anyways, I'm sure everything will be fine. Okay, well these are clipping in better, so maybe I just borked these switches while I took them out. They're sitting over here. decision to do with this black cherry pie. I could just spring swap it. I don't know. I'll probably end up using it again just as is. Easier for me to do. And less variance between my keyboards because usually I just have all the same sort of setups going on. Creature of habit, you know? Maybe someday I'll change. I just forgot to put a switch there. <laughs> yeah. Okay. And for new switches from the stash. I guess I eventually 
try to see if I can rehabilitate them. Honestly, if I probably just bend this forward a little bit, it'll probably work fine. If not, well, there's plenty more. Anyways, enough messing around with these, let's get to soldering. The fun part. Alright, I'll put those back, figure out what I want to do with those later. Alright, so, this plate is pretty solid, this is all pretty solid. I probably can just go straight through. I don't think I have to do anything crazy with these. Quick double check to make sure I see everything poking through. I'm gonna have to connect this wire, and then this little wrapping wire to this at some point. Might as well just start out there. Uh, officially speaking, whenever you're doing wrapping wire and stuff like this, it should be pretty much wrapping all the way around the post and terminal. I have it in contact on two sides. Not really ideal, but it doesn't have to be a high strength component since this board will not really flex anymore. Um, all right, let's turn Chris back on. Let's see if it has decided it would like to work again. Wait, it's been on. You can still hear the furnace in the background, all right. Yeah, turn it off, turn it back on. No placebo effect going on here. Do I actually have to set things up? Start set up, make sure you're in a quiet spot. Keep reading, oh, crisp new revolutionary voice cancellation technology allows you to not only remove noise, but also other voices that are substantially different than your own. Now you can have calls with other people talking in a background and only your voice will be heard on the other end of the call. This groundbreaking audio technology and it will become better over time. Enjoy perfectly clear meetings. Keep reading until we've heard enough of your voice. I guess it means I can just say whatever I want. So I'll just talk aimlessly into the microphone. Uh, no one's watching this and that is fine. I haven't really been streaming much. I will need to keep talking because apparently this has not figured out my voice well enough yet from the background or it's hearing background and is not able to tell what my voice is. I do know that this software should be smart enough to learn, but I am not really sure. I will just sort of keep talking aimlessly um, about this build. Oh, there it goes. It's analyzing and downloading and processing. <sighs> so when it analyzes, will it then know what my voice is and will it then actually post-process out everything? I'm kind of curious now. I did pay for this service, so. <laughs> If I snap my fingers and it still picks up noise, that's usually not a great sign. Hmm. Whatever. I will just soldier on. Sorry about noise. This is now on. And you can definitely hear that. My apologies. Let's get this out of sleep, 350. And we're sorry. That's a bit much solder. Get the four corners. So 
making good contact. I don't have to worry about this so much. There's the other plate. Solder in a few more tack points. Okay, and I guess I should get this one up here too. Should be good just to solder. Oh, I guess I should do this one too. Not really anything for this one to grab onto anymore. But I will put more solder on to make sure that the wire is well connected. Okay, it looks good. I'm sure if I ever have to actually desolder this, it's going to be a pain, but that's fine for now.
So all these are sitting nice and flush. I don't think I'll probably have to stop as frequently anymore. Uh, I guess I'm just going to get to speed soldering the rest of these. which is moving around, a little bit nervous about it. board at a weird angle, so I guess I should move it.
moving on me. So crisp still appears not to be working. Shame. Guaranteed after I restart my computer later tonight and retest it, it'll be fine. It's probably because I updated it on the fly. Eh, at least I'll have it for next time I have to do soldering, which will be probably Probably not going to be able to do a build over the weekend. Weekend's probably going to be a little bit busy for me this weekend. But I guess next Monday. Yeah, Monday and Wednesday I'll probably be able to build uh, both the portal and the Block 67. <clears throat> not really sure when I'll do the KFEC. Sooner than later. I think uh, the polycarb plate that I received last should be good to go for that one. I'll have to double check. Uh, I was going to do polycarb for this IU rebuild, but I took a look at it and it was missing a whole switch and stab cutout on the board. So I don't know if that's just an error uh, from corrections that they were doing at the facility where they're cutting it, or I don't know because I gave them the same play files as I did with um, this plate, and this plate seems to be fine. So I'm not really sure what the deal is. <laughs> Since they worked with me the last time to replace uh, one of the gene plates that I had cut, I'll probably end up buying another IU plate and seeing what happens. And if I have the same issue, then I'll let them know about it. But if I fall in love with this board and I don't feel like rebuilding it, so be it. <laughs> I'm pretty sure, yeah, polycarbonate uh, IU has already been built, or the polycarbonate plate, I should say. Hey, how's it going? Sorry, busy watching <laughs> myself solder. Uh, I responded, but I didn't hear you. Yeah, I don't know. Crisp is acting up, so it's one of these things. I've just been keeping my head down because I'm assuming the fan noise probably drives people crazy because it would drive me crazy. But I'm almost done soldering since this is pretty easy this plate is pretty rigid so it's I'm flying not as fast as like someone like wall stacks it just seems to speed solder regardless of what he's building because he'll spend like hours building stuff up and then yeah 
can still hear me in the, the fan noise? Cool. I'll have to definitely restart my computer and test it. I think it's because I tried an update midstream. <sighs> Anyways, I definitely need to rebuild this. Originally, I was going to use a polycarbonate plate. Not sure if you heard that whole woe story, but I was missing a stab cutout and a switch cutout that I only realized when I was doing test fits and really looking at it. So I'll probably have to get that recut. Um, so I'm using the aluminum plates because I think MX Black switches usually sound good on aluminum. So following that logic, I'm hoping that my board will sound good again. Because after listening to Tejas, uh, yeah, well, Tejas is just a, a beast on a different level. Let's just put it that way. Almost done with the soldering. I'm going to do a quick test to make sure that nothing's totally worked. Then after the test, I'll clean it up. And we'll throw it back together. We'll call it a night. BKG Whale 2021 Dolphin today. I'm getting a CMO TKL in two weeks. What? Dude, you're crazy. <laughs> Here I'm excited that, you know, my Space 80 shipped and uh, yeah. <laughs> I'd definitely be hyped. Ton of good boards. I I guess, I don't know. I'm definitely growing my collection. I'm just waiting on a bunch of group buys to come in. That seems to be what's hampering me the most. Eventually I, I'm actually afraid I'll run out of keycap sets. <laughs> Have to catch up from a year off? Yeah. I hear ya. Oh by the way. Since you sent me the, the Songle 65, I decided to join that one, uh, to buy that, because I did like the Songle 60 a whole heck of a lot. I'm not a big fan of 65s, but if I have a 65 as an example that's really good like that, I think I'll be happy. Yeah, because I, I really love the 60, um, but, you know... 65 seems to be the new hotness that everyone wants to try to buy. It, I'm not really a 65 sort of guy, but I'll live. It still has that amazing sound, and I'm thinking about trying out more SP Star switches in it to sort of complement it, you know? I have to do something about the way this roll sounds. Anyways. Let me move the mat. Just leave the soldering iron sleep. Hopefully nothing bad happens to that. All right. I guess I should put some sort of O-ring on this and just throw it together real quick. I uh, guess I need to decide which O-ring. Aluminum plate, maybe the softest, the 30A. I'll try the 30A. I'm not really gonna test a whole bunch of configurations out. I do wanna try to get back to sleep. 
because my wife's been bugging me about sleeping on a normal schedule so I don't get sick. Is, uh, taking time off because you're sick from streaming kind of sucks. So let me try not to get sick. And maybe if I listen to her superstitious advice, I will stay healthy. I don't know. Probably not, but... <laughs> Definitely need to sleep. Yeah. I don't know. I used to think getting like five or six hours was pretty much enough. But I'm starting to see the ways where I probably need a little bit more than that. All right, let me plug this in here just to test everything out. Then I'll clean up the PCB if everything works. Tester, matrix, oh, sound. Pipe? Yeah, pipe works. Pipe's the one I had to put the jumper wire on. Oh, did I miss one? missed one. I didn't solder it. Well, I'm pretty confident that it'll work, so... Yeah. And I didn't put the soldering iron away yet. Happy days. Yeah, I just, I, I missed the switch, <laughs> I didn't solder it at all. Oops. Okay. Good part about this soldering iron is it like literally wakes right the hell up. be good. Mm, yummy taste of uh, flux in your mouth from forgetting to turn on your fan because you're only doing one switch. I guess that makes me kind of dumb. I think I have enough left in here to clean the board. Uh, I guess I need a piece of paper towel to catch everything. Smells like isopropyl alcohol. All in all, for reliability, somewhere down the line, I might actually rebuild this or do a second, I guess, plate build with this. Because uh, I do have an extra H87NU PCB laying around. I'm not sure what board I'll use it in since I got um, Cruel World in 88 rather than 87 layout. 
So I guess in theory I just have an extra PCB. Gross. That just looks gross. That's so much flux. I guess I was way too excited the first time I built this board and I probably didn't clean this off as well as I probably should have. Judging by the amount of flux that was left on that applicator tip. All right. In a way, I kind of hope this is my forever build. That aluminum just suits everything I want. So I guess I will spend a little bit more time than I did the first time around cleaning it up. Although it's just really that dirty. <laughs> Gross. So much crap. So is this a new alu plate? Um, you said I got a PC plate for my KFE? Yes, I have a 
PC plate for the KFE, just chilling, waiting for whenever I want to build that, or more or less I have to finish preparing the switches. Uh, this alloy plate was actually from uh, Send Cut Send, because Perry did not have a plate on hand, but he had the file, so I was able to get a cut. And appears to work fine, so far at least. I did a test fit with it, it has all the holes for uh, stabs and switches, so I'm happy. <laughs> Where did I get uh, the KFE PC plate cut? I went with, um, what, P3D? They're, they're pretty well known, I think, for their uh, stacked cases and layouts but they recently started doing more just freeform upload whatever you want and they'll cut plates for you builds, so. Uh, IU plate was a little bit borked because it was missing a switch stab and cutout. Stab cutout and a switch cutout. So I'll probably have to get that remade by them. Uh, but the KFECE plates, since they're just, you know, standard Jane, uh, they look to be fine. So I'll look to be building that sometime soon. <clears throat> oh, um, so I got my plates from uh, Send Cut Send for the aluminum and P3D for the polycarbonate. The polycarbonate alu, or sorry, the polycarbonate IU plate that I got cut was uh, missing one switch cutout and one stab cutout, so I wasn't able to build with that tonight because that was my original plan. But luckily, I had this aluminum, so I, I don't have to be without IU or have to rebuild it with the polypropylene and then get compared to just uh, Teja's board, which sounded so much better than my board because he's Teja. Um, but yeah, the Jane plate that I got for. The Jane V2CE plate, I should say, I got for uh, the KFE. Uh, it appears to be fine. So I'll probably be building that, that whenever I can find the time to lube the switches. And I got two of them made because I am going to probably end up using at least one of them um, for a friend's build for Freebird TKL whenever I get that. Because I'm thinking they probably want a deeper sound switch signature and although Jane plates aren't really deep, that's probably gonna be as close as he can get for deep, being deep, you know? Yeah, I didn't like the Mono KPC plate from the one uh, in stock. They seem different. May get another one cut. Yeah. I don't know. When I went to go try to buy it, they were all out of stock. So at least I know people were buying them up like immediately. Um, so, but I don't know. It's polycarbonate, so it's one of those things that it, it's it's a little bit tricky. People seem to think polycarbonate's just an easy medium to work with, and it's not because you you actually do have to spend time cutting it and making sure things don't move, and yeah. It's annoying. Yep. So I don't feel bad if anyone gets that stuff wrong. Although, talking about polycarbonate, I am still interested in trying to figure out if I can get a reasonably priced polycarbonate Alice type board at some point in the future. I do have my eyes on a few different smaller makers and stuff, but yeah. Uh, PC and palm plates are all the same. Uh, I guess you could say some of that as far as about, they have similar profiles. I think palm is definitely a slightly softer material, but I don't think it's so much softer. Um, and polycarbonate, to be honest, it's somewhere between soft and rigid. I mean, I guess that's sort of a no-brainer as far as it makes sense to say that, but I don't know, because it, it has properties that are not quite aluminum, but it's not as soft as some other materials. 
I think polypropylene is definitely a softer plate um, for feel and touch and everything. Sound wise, it definitely has more decay to it, which I thought was sort of interesting. I think it gave a lot of the deepness to uh, at least this board. And I'm really looking forward to it on the polypropylene half plate I got for Cloudline. Ew, look how much flux is on this. <laughs> These things are getting nasty. I did have to add a little bit of flux on some of these switches when I was taking them out for the rebuild, so maybe that's part of the reason why they seem so nasty, I don't know. It definitely seems like a lot of flux is on the board though. Probably should have cleaned this before I uh, started the stream just to reset everything. Oh well, I'll have to do that next time if I rebuild this again. This board gave me half plate so good? Uh, I don't know. I'd have to see if there would be a half plate file for this. Burgundy so nice on a dolphin? Yeah. Honestly, I took inspiration from, you know, a lot of the burgundy and other boards when I decided to go with the uh, wine color for the CW88 that I ordered. Uh, so I could just use a refreshing, different looking red, you know, a nice red. Because a lot of my stuff is usually pretty typical. <laughs> but yeah, definitely on, on the train for having at least a few nice red boards. I was even thinking about getting the PLX recently and um, the Rosso finish, the red finish. That had caught my eye. Uh, Alex Otis built his with, I think, GMK white on black, which just, it struck a chord with me. It just looked really good. Red Vertex also. Honestly, I might give the Vertex angle a pass. I've been sort of holding off thinking about it. I The round two looks interesting, but I'm just not convinced it'll be exactly what I want. I don't know. Part of me says I should just buy it so I don't have to think about what could have been, but the rest of me is also like, well, because at this point it would be buying that or the PLX. And honestly, uh, I think PLX, at least from all the sound tests and feedback that I heard is really good. Unique sound, too precise and dense. Yeah. I don't know. The PLX just had the looks, and uh, I, I might end up getting that board instead of a TKL, which sounds weird for me, but, you know, I'm always looking for other 60s, I guess. So after a while, I'll just have a bunch of heavy TKLs I'll have to drag into the office rather than a few light 60s I can just <laughs> throw in a backpack or a small case and just take with me, you know? We all join PLX, uh, everyone around me that is. Yeah, I don't know. When Enemashiki did his uh, beauty shots, because that's that's the last video that I really saw that sold me on the idea of getting it. Uh, yeah, it just looked good. I don't know how Frank does it with his uh, photography and cinematography. I might actually have to send a few boards out to him and see if he can do some photos for me or something. Because I don't have a camera worth uh, f photographing anything.
Hmm. I guess that's something that says something about the board, though. If everyone around you is getting uh, PLXs or excited about it, that means everyone that's way too deep in the hobby is looking for something fun like that. Because originally I thought about, I, I had played around with the idea of uh, the X60 Noxuary board, but for whatever reason I hesitated on that and decided not to even try. Sort of regretting not trying because, I don't know, that just seems like an interesting board. halfway done cleaning this up I should probably start trying to move faster so I can get some good quality sleep tonight Whew. my boss is retiring at work I'm trying to see if I can get his position but that would also mean more work <laughs> Still want to have time to do this hobby and have fun. Definitely doing a better job this time of cleaning up all the flex. Going through so many. Kuja26, how's it going? Going pretty well, finally. My, uh, both my daughters are finally over whatever pre-K sickness my four-year-old brought back. And everyone's pretty much stable condition in the house, so I can finally stream again, which is good. You're exhausted? Uh, as long as you're good, though. As long as you're doing well. Definitely looking forward to this uh, whole pandemic thing ending. I think it's supposed to happen today in the United Kingdom. They're supposed to be ending a lot of their pandemic stuff. Waiting to see what other geographic regions have. Hoping that the world can agree to knock it down to just an endemic for places and everyone stays healthy. But reality is we'll probably have to deal with it like we have to deal with the seasonal flu. Which at least is better than a lot of the responses that we've had. Hopefully people will treat it like the bane of the existence to us that it is and we can get over it. scraping the crap off of this. Ew. The small one going. Right, back to the 
large one. So much flux. Guess when I was desoldering, I probably shouldn't have put too much more on. Lesson learned. Or I probably should have cleaned it up without anything attached to it. That probably would that definitely would have been the smarter move. going through some of these applicators tonight. It's fine. I still have a bag of 500 somewhere in the corner of my basement. Just chilling. That's the most PE foam applicators that I've used <laughs> cleaning a board. And they look filthy. I definitely was rushing when I uh, built this the first time. I was just too excited. Should have cleaned it up after stream though. Oh well. Hindsight and all that. have to remember to refill this next time or the next time after. Okay. Let me wash my hands and do a little bit of cleanup. I'll be right back. We have what's happening in Russia. Uh, yeah. I mean, Ukraine's going to get their shit pushed in by Russia. That's sort of the way things will have to be. They don't have enough forces. We don't have anything there to keep them from doing that. Sad say the world, but it's, uh, yeah. I don't know. Wish we could have stopped this. Wish there would have been some diplomatic solution, but you know, unfortunately that's the sad say of the world at the moment. Anyways, on that sad note, let me wash my hands and throw this stuff away. Sad music playing in the background, I guess. Or saddish music, it's not really that sad. Cables and wires going everywhere. Plug you. Oh.
this and throw this away. And I'm back. All right, I already have a 38 o ring on. So I guess a quick assembly. I should retest my via. Make sure nothing broke. Where's my mouse? All right. Key tester. still looks good nothing changed layer one layer two okay I think we good um, stabs look fine overing placement looks good unplug it throw on the top
All right. Sometime later this week when I get time, I'll probably end up doing all the various sound tests like I did with uh, the PP plate. I'm curious what this is going to sound like. Hopefully okay. Otherwise, I'll just go right back to the PP plate. Just have one that doesn't sound quite as good as Tejas. <laughs> Is this actually straight? It's mostly straight. Okay. Um, okay, sounds all right. I just have everything mixed in here. She. Eventually, I'm hoping to receive my GMK muted, and that will probably actually go on to this board. Or, if I end up getting my hands on a 21 keyboard keycap set, that's something else I'd be interested in putting on this board too, just to hear what it sounds like. Because after Lol Stacks' build, I was actually kind of interested. Backspace. Yeah. Let me plug this in real quick. Control. It's a wrong size alt. Right size alt. But here's my keycap puller. R seven. F ten. Seven 
Yankee. Um, H. O. Semicolon. F3. Almost put that in F4. <laughs> smooth. Let's not use that one. Eight. And is in November. Oh. Why can't I not put you on? Okay. F1. E. F2. Six minus J with a bar. There we go. I'm too weak. My brain doesn't work if I don't have bars. S left bracket P. Oh. W. There's F again. X. K. F four. Escape. Function prints. Tab. F, J, F11. A. Z. Oh. Did something to the music. My bad. U. C. M twelve B period two F eight deletes. Is that the right profile? I don't think that's is it? it might be the right profile. I think. I don't know. <laughs> My brain's not working. I think this is the right profile. Yeah. Plus minus equals O of V L Q. There we go. Almost done. Six. And golf. Five. Pause. I think there's only one of those. So page up. Now I need to figure out what profile is what again. One, two, I need a delete in this profile, I think. An end in this profile and a home in, I already have home.
All right. And the rest of it goes in the box. All right, it's been like a week since I used monkey type. Well, not really. It feels that way though. So I expect to be slow and awful as usual. Um, let me pull up monkey type. Of course I don't have that ready. Monkey type, is there a monkey type up here? And I guess I need to switch the mic settings real quick. Okay, for the record, I've been using different microphone settings um, and placement for my sound test. Uh, I'm not gonna bother switching the arm over tonight because after doing a build, I will decide not to do sound tests ever again because I tend to make mistakes, like using correct settings and dumb stuff. So let's not do that. Anyways, 30A aluminum plate, MX Blacks, IU. Mouse clicks, keyboard level. All right, what the mods sound like. Huh? Let me try it with the headphones off and have a sip of tea too. Overall, um, I do prefer aluminum plates because it's a little bit less flex and the vibrations are eaten up nicely. I think it needs foam. I don't think it needs foam. But let me, let me listen with the headphones off. The mouse clicks again. Well, oh, I unplugged it. <laughs> yeah. So the first time around with the polypropylene plate, I did not feel it needed foam at all. I don't think it needs foam either for this. I don't know. Furnace is starting up again. Uh, 
of sounds flat to the ear. So it is distant. Um, one sec. Let me try. Uh, I did. I said I wasn't going to move things around. Let me move things around. Whatever. Let me get it all set up just because. Sorry about your ears there. Let me try this again. From this position, this is much closer. Uh, take away the camera. The usual position that I end up doing my typing test from. Whenever the furnace stops, we'll start. Whenever that furnace might stop. <laughs> hmm. Guess I'll open up some mail while I'm here. from Prevail. I think these should be stabs. I decided to try out the version 2 Owl Lab stabs because why not? Yep, 80% Owl Lab stabs. These should be the second version kind of curious. I was pretty okay with the first version, so not sure if it's really going to change my opinion. I thought they were all right. <laughs> yeah, I have other package, but whatever. Oh, crap on my desk pad. Feels bad. What do I think about Stabies versus TX? I think TX are possibly my more favorite of the stabs personally. Um, the version one was a pin the ass to put together, but once they're together, I like them. I have no issues with them. I think they sound good. Stabies with seven new space bars and long pull switches. I have some issue with, uh, a little bit of bananaing of, uh, the stab and, and, bar itself. I don't really know what the issue is exactly, but it's either going to slightly give a concave or convex feel depending on uh, how you're putting pressure on this on the bar over time and it feels a little bit weird if it's not uh, a low enough if it's actuating higher than significantly higher than other switches. Um, I think TX are probably going to be the easier in my go-to. Uh, especially since you can also use them in gummy o-ring builds like this, for example. Um, all right, well, now that that is stopped and we can keep going. And of course the router has picked up, but that's fine.
typing this. <laughs> Yeah, much better with the closer position. Um, I've noticed that this mic does much better with the closer position. Otherwise, it picks up way too much of my room noise and tone. This has actually equalized the top and bottom sound for making the top and bottom sound better. On the PP plate, it was one of those weird things. Mic itself wasn't picking up higher frequency as all board itself sounds pretty good. Yeah, I mean, it's one of these things where this mic's very sensitive to distance and amount of uh, gain I'm putting in on it. If I'm not putting too much gain on it, it tends to sound very thin uh, and only pick up certain frequency bands that it, the transducer really is good at. When it's closer, I can turn the gain down and it doesn't hear all the room noise. Um, but in actuality, I'll, I'll probably end up having to uh, do something different if I actually want to make it so I, I drop the gain more. Um, but this is 30A and uh, doesn't really have, has a little bit of give to it, um, and you can feel a little bit of vibration across it, but it's pretty damped with a 30A O-ring. Um, it's not overly compressed, which is good, and I think it sounds pretty nice in this configuration. Um, I do like MX Black switches with alu plates. I do think it works pretty well, but yeah, I'm, I'm quite happy. Although, I will want to test it with dif different O-rings and see what the difference might be. I think the larger O-rings and like the size X O-ring um, will have a quite different sound that will make it more robust sounding. And of course, I'll want to try this in top mount since I'm always uh, a fan of top mount. So. But yeah, this was uh, my night back building and I want to get to bed before 2 o'clock so my wife doesn't kill me. <laughs> So that means I need to start cleaning up and probably call it a nice night for the night. Yeah. Thanks for tuning back in. I'll have to continue streaming and doing more stuff. Hi. How's it going, Glowstar? But yeah, this has been uh, my rebuild of my Ayu prototype. And I'll have to eventually redo all the sound tests just with aluminum plate. Um, I think aluminum plate's probably going to be the way I'm going to stick with this because I always like uh, pre-roll ads are disabled for 36 minutes. Are you guys on ads or something? I don't even know. Anyways, uh, that's going to be it for me for tonight. Thanks for stopping by. Uh, have a good one. And stay safe, everybody. I guess I'll turn the music on. And out of here. Bye.